Now, in this video, we're going to talk about the AdSense click-through rate. Now, the click-through rate basically shows you the percentage of people who saw your ad that clicked on it. So, a click-through rate of 10% means 10 in 100 people clicked on your advert. Now, obviously, I think we can say the higher the better as the more you earn. So, one of the goals you have with any AdSense site is to get a high click-through rate. If you can get a high click-through rate, then quite often what you find is you get better payments as well. We are not sure on what formula Google uses, but there seems to be some correlation between a click-through rate and how much you get paid. The better the click-through rate, then quite often the uh, you get a slightly higher percentage of money from them. Now, to have a see the click-through rate for any of your sites, you go into your AdSense management console. Make sure you've set up URL channels for all of the URLs that you're showing AdSense on, and then you will see the URLs and the clicks and all the statistics so it'll show you how your, your click-through rate so that's basically where you monitor your CTR you can buy software that will do this if you want to but you don't need it you can use the AdSense management console what I have noticed in my experiments is that the CTR will vary significantly from site to site it will vary from niche to niche it will vary according to where the adverts are placed there's so many different variants here so you need to test on every single site to find the best possible click-through rates. Now you need to ensure that your adverts are relevant before we go any further. One way to get a good conversion rate is to make sure that you have good adverts on your site. Now if your site hasn't got meta tags, so your meta title, your meta description and your meta keywords on, the adverts that it displays are not going to be very relevant. I will tell you that right now for nothing so you need to go through your website look at the adverts that are being displayed and check they're relevant make sure that you have your meta description your meta keywords and your meta title on every single page and that is relevant to the content of that page when you have more focused adverts which you will when you've entered your meta tags then you will get a higher click-through rate because they are relevant to what people are reading which means that they're more likely to want to click on the adverts. One thing that you really do need to do is test blended adverts against ads that stand out to see which performs best. Typically, blended adverts, where they blend into your site and they look like part of the navigation menu, those are the ones that tend to work the best. People will click on them a lot more because they don't stand out as adverts. Unfortunately, with the massive amount of advertising on the internet, uh, far too many people have what we call ad blindness so basically they do not see adverts so when they're blended in they look like part of the site and you get many more people seeing them you want to test different sizes and placements of adverts one that works very well is the large rectangle left aligned within the text so the text flows around it that tends to have a very very good performance so have a look at that and try using it you can also use the AdSense heat map and we'll have a look at that in a second. But the large rectangle tends to be the best performing one. You can also test having skyscrapers on the side in the menu bar, uh, banners across the top and at the bottom. But remember, you're only allowed three AdSense blocks per page. Any more than that and you're in violation of their terms and service. Now the link blocks can also be effective. That's an additional way to get adverts on your page. One thing that can work quite well is under your header graphic to have one of the AdSense link blocks that looks like navigation so a lot of the time people will actually click on it and then they'll click on one of the adverts and you can earn from that so that can be very very effective too. But you need to make sure you are very very aware of the terms of service when you're testing. If you break the terms of service that's your problem. Google can quite happily remove your account and all your earnings without question. So be aware of that. So you need to be aware that you can't do anything that draws attention to the adverts. You know, like one of the things people tested was to put um, images above the adverts that almost pointed down to the adverts. Now that Google doesn't like. It works, but it, it, they don't like it. And if they find it, they'll remove your account. So make sure you've read the terms of service first now here's the heat map you can go and have a look on this on Google if you want basically the darker the shade of orange the um, more people focus on that point so you can see 
um, the best place for your content is right in the middle or in the top left below the navigation bar those are the good places to have your AdSense ads so use this as um, some sort of testing so I would put my AdSense ads in left aligned rec a rectangle then I'll try uh, a, a, a bar just uh, a banner just below the navigation bar then I would try a skyscraper on the left hand side if you look at this I'd also try one uh, another banner at the bottom and test the performance there so you know this gives you an idea of where people look so the darkest orange right in the middle that's where people's attention is focused the uh, next lighter shade of orange is also a very popular place to put ads where you get people's eyes drawn to it where they've got the white blocks basically don't bother putting ads there you can test it by all means but Google have found in their testing that nobody ever really looks at that area or pays attention to it so it gives you an idea of where where to place your adverts and where people's attention are so using this you should be able to draw attention to your adverts without drawing attention to uh, violating the terms of service um, you know remember to blend them in though make sure they blend in with your site that does work a lot better you're welcome to test it otherwise and, and see how it goes but if you do this then you're gonna find that you work well with your ad sets and you're gonna improve your click-through rate it can be quite a slow process because you've got to take it easy try different um, different adverts and see what works but if you persist you can get your click-through rate up and obviously that's gonna massively increase your earnings